Hello everyone, you're watching the Culver City Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar and this week Culver City judge grants a restraining order against LA School of Gymnastics and could LA County be moving closer to reopening? We'll find out soon, so stay tuned. But first I wanna tell you about our sponsor, School of Rock. If your kid is looking to be a rock star or playing a band, contact the School of Rock. They have classes for ages three and up. Our top story today, Westside Diners are weighing in on the safety of visiting restaurants amid the COVID-19 pandemic in light of a recent study suggesting in-person restaurant patrons are more likely to contract the virus. We'll be right back with the news after this story. The summer and the past months, uh, some of these social distancing and, and guidelines are like, they're ingrained in me. So, I, like everywhere I go, I'm doing it really kind of without even thinking. The restaurateurs, whom I support, I trust. I know their facilities are clean and that they are following protocol. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. We have an update for you on a story we covered a few weeks back about the lawsuit between Culver City and the Los Angeles School of Gymnastics. A judge has issued a temporary restraining order against the Los Angeles School of Gymnastics and its owner, owner Tanya Brenson. The gym is being sued by the city for alleged indoor operations during the citywide closure of indoor gyms. The owner, Brenson, previously stated that she has not violated any health orders and conducted all her sessions and classes outside as was stated with the public health orders issued in July. The lawsuit was filed on September 1st after the city received several complaints from residents and the gym staff about classes being held indoors. Now we have some good coronavirus news for you. With positive coronavirus cases currently at their lowest in LA County, we could be seeing a little bit of reopening. I hope so. According to Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer, LA County could be moving towards tier two of the reopening stage as early as October. Officials will be examining overall figures at the end of September to determine if Labor Day weekend is causing any surges in cases. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar and you take care.